If you want to look at the laser beam profile, it's easy to have a beam size that is bigger than a camera sensor, which are usually small. There is a way around this limitation if you look at the beam profile and reflection. In this EOWiki, I will show you step by step how to get the beam profile of your laser and reflection. Welcome to Gentech EO Academia. I'm Charles Dumas from Gentech EO, your partner for accuracy. If you want to measure a beam profile that is bigger than a sensor of the beam profiler you have, you just have to add up a camera lens such as the CL25. How it works? The sensor on the beam profiler is similar to the one that you will find in a reflex camera. So, with the camera lens installed in front of the beam profiler, and the sensor, you'll be able to get a sharp image of the reflected beam profile on a surface. If you install the camera lens in front of the sensor, such as the CL25, you will be able to image the beam profile indirectly by looking at its reflection on another surface. You must avoid a surface that will have a specular reflection, such as a mirror. You need a surface that will have a diffuse reflection, a Lambertian reflection. Could be a wall uh, if the power of the laser is low or the power density is low enough or a power meter if it is high as a bonus you'll be able to measure the power at the same time first you need to be extra careful where you install the camera lens as you don't have dust in the sensor so meaning that when you install it make sure that there's no dust getting in there install the camera then at least at the focal distance of the camera as you can see in the specification, so you can get a sharp image of a business card or any kind of a, another image. Set it as close as possible to the axis of your laser. Have a ruler or a transition stage, like here, Perp installed perpendicular as the laser beam axis. Connect the camera to PCB image on your computer and First adjustment wheel on the camera lens closest to the camera will control the iris aperture which change the amount of light entering the lens. Start with the iris as small as possible moving toward the C in the camera lens. Then you adjust the second wheel to get a sharp image of your business card. Here I did it already but you can see that step. First you flip the image horizontally so you see the image like it should be. Then you subtract the background and you follow the step that it is asked. Plug the laser, click on OK. Then it will remove all the light coming from the environment. And from this, you follow the step to do the pixel multiplication factor in the camera lens calibration. You set the origin position, the distance that you plan to move your camera perpendicularly and after that you move your camera by the known distance you click on calibrate and from this you will see on home what is the actual beam size that you are measuring at the moment now if you understand that there's no laser too big or too powerful not to be measured with Gentech EO accuracy there's a way with the CL25 I hope you enjoyed this video Subscribe to this channel to find more expert tips on how to achieve the most accurate laser beam measurements for your application. Thanks for watching.